Hey guys, Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to tune electron carburetors on two-stroke motorcycles. Uh, electron is bringing out a line of four-stroke carburetors. This does not apply directly to that. Let's just focus on the two strokes for now. So this is just the highlights of it. I'm not going to go into every little detail about how to tune one. They're actually very simple and usually don't need much. So some of the things you shouldn't do. My guys, for some reason, always want to take the float ball off. And then when they do that, they drop the float, ball, the float pin and they just start digging themselves a hole. So leave the float on. Leave the float ball on. There's nothing in there to tune. Absolutely nothing. There's no jets in there. Uh, you know, if your carburetor is full of dirt, that's when you take that apart. Otherwise, leave it alone. So the main tuning is, is when you first put one on, is to set the idle. That's this big brass screw right here. So turn that in or out to set the idle. And when you do that, just kind of blip the throttle or lift the that lifts the slide up just a little while you're doing it, so that you're just not jamming the, the screw right into the side of the slide. So adjust the idle. Uh, try to get just a reasonable idle before you move on. Then go out and ride the bike some. Don't just rip it around the block in your neighborhood. Uh, that does absolutely no good. Don't even waste your time doing that. You know, load it up, take it to your riding area, and ride it. Get it good and warmed up. And then if you have some issues with it, then you can start tuning it. Also, make sure you're tuning a, a good platform. By that I mean, is your engine in good condition? You know, uh, guys tell me all the time, I've got 250 hours on my piston, I just put on that carburetor, and yada, yada, yada. Well, you can't tune worn out engines. So if your spark is plugged up, if your engine's tired, or well, if you've just changed 20 other things on your bike, well, maybe it's not a, a carburetor issue. Um, do one thing at a time. So after you've got the idle set, if, if the thing is running a little flat on the bottom, so by flat I mean just, just kind of weak, it's kind of soft, maybe it doesn't have quite the bark off the bottom, the snort off the bottom that your previous carburetor had, so that would be called flat. And if it feels flat on the bottom, that's lean. So then the metering rod needs to be richened. I've got a separate video on just how to adjust the metering rod, but basically you're going to have to turn it clockwise, turn it in, but you should watch that other video. If it's rich on the bottom, it feels like the choke is stuck on. It's kind of loading up, feels really dirty, you know, it's not crispy sounding, then that would be rich. So then you would want to lengthen this rod so it's counterclockwise. Watch the the video about that first please so the the metering rod controls from idle up to about halfway through the power band and then the power jet is from halfway on up to full throttle wide open and so 99% of the time it's the metering rod that you'll want to adjust usually phone calls that I get, it's usually uh, something to do with the metering rod. It needs to go in or out. And uh, Electron says to do quarter quarter turns. I prefer to do half turns. And if I want to make an adjustment, I want to make an adjustment. I don't want to... A uh, quarter turn is a real fine tuning. So if you feel like you've almost got it, well then you would want to go a quarter turn. If you feel like it's quite a ways off, if it feels flat, then go a half a turn. And you might go have to go more. You might have to go one, one and a half turns. From there, the half to wide open throttle was the power jet, but don't think of this as the main jet because it is not. It's not like changing a main jet in, say, your Keyhan carburetor. So to make a, it's, it's a very fine tuning of uh, increments on this. You should only do this in quarter turn increments every time. And it's the same way in shuts it off, so it makes it leaner. Out, so counterclockwise makes it richer. This is kind of hard to get to. I mean, you can you can get your hands up in there, but it, it turns hard, so it's hard to turn it. You have to have a little stubby screwdriver, or in like the 17 and 18s, there's a hole in the frame above this, and you can get a long screwdriver down through that hole and hit this. But uh, when I say don't think of it as a main jet, think of it as uh, fine tuning the main jet on a on a, a bike or a carburetor that has jets. So say if you had a 152 main jet in your Keyhan carburetor. 
and you want to just make a fine adjustment to that, make it a 153 main jet, well, they don't make a 153. They make a 155 as the next step. So that's kind of what this is. It's that fine tuning of, of just the size of a, of a main jet, if you want to think it in those terms. It's a very fine tuning and uh, it's a pretty sensitive adjuster. So that's really all there is to it. There's the idle screw, there's the metering rod, there's the power jet. And once again, make sure you're tuning uh, a good platform, that you've got a good solid motor, that your exhaust system's not plugged up. If you've got a screen type spark arrestor, burn that out, get it good and clean. Uh, make sure your air, air filter's clean. You know, just those kind of things before you start tuning on the carburetor. On when to adjust this. So it's kind of opposite of the metering rod. The metering rod, when it is flat, it's lean. But on this adjuster, if it's flat on the top end, so it feels it doesn't feel like it wants to rev all the way on the top, well, then that's usually rich on electron. <laughs> so that means you would want to screw this in clockwise. Um, so opposite of the metering rod as far as the feel. Like I said, if it feels uh, flat on the top, that's usually rich. But, you know, if you turn in the adjuster one way and it doesn't get the response you're wanting, then turn it the other way.